Hi, I'm Datin Menilu from A Cut Above. I have been in the industry for about 44 years. Uh, founder of A Cut Above since 1979. And yes, I would say that it's such a passion of me uh, being so young at that age and I realised my goal and my dream. When I was young, I love anything that is creative. Um, I would say I love to design. If I'm not a hair designer, I would definitely be a fashion designer. I would pay credit to my late dad. Uh, he has been such a great person mentoring me from young. I take inspiration from him that a businessman of his calibre at that time when he came from the rags to riches kind of story was a very inspiring uh, uh, childhood. A living mentor in the hair industry will be a person like Vidal's. Uh, not, in fact, he's not living now. He's also a late legendary Vidal Sassoon. Uh, I have always been following his story. Just too bad that these two persons that I love so much are gone, but they are, their life live on. Their story live on because inspiration is how we look at it. We don't need to be inspired by living people sometimes. People who are gone are a great inspiration to me. Well, being in the hair industry when, especially I started, like I said, 44 years ago, I think when I first started Cut Above, Cut Above in 1979, uh, it's a very undermined trade. It's a trade not with a lot of respect. That does not stop me from realising my vision. I think it's very important that sometimes if we are driven to be successful, nothing can stop us. I sacrifice a lot in terms of time. Uh, you know, sometimes I miss the little ones all growing up that I have to be at work. So I miss the joy. But of course, what I did was I, I managed to sort of make quality time in the morning with them when, while they were growing a little bit bigger. And I was like, do I need to give up my career? No, not really. I cannot do that. So I have to give up a lot of love and attention while they were rising and growing up. So of course my husband, thank God I have a very understanding husband who was father, mother, he was literally a row of money. So I think that helps. In life actually, even while I was coming this far, there were bumpy roads, there were uncertainties, but you know, I'm one who's convicted. If I'm convicted to what I do, I must achieve it. I think most importantly is in life, you've just got to make time for what you do. So that is where achievement can come in. Commitment is key to success. My dad didn't want me to be a hairdresser. The way I win him was like, if you allow me to take up hairdressing, I will rise, I will shine, I will not make you uh, regret for allowing this. So I proven it and I told him, if you allow me to do hair, I promise you, I will be a cut above the rest. And I think until today, I have stayed true to, stay really true to the words that I promise. If a hairdresser can, many people can. I never realised that a pair of scissors can get me to go that far in my career. I've been so bullied pretty often even in, you know, sometimes in London, in Singapore, in Malaysia when I first started my work. But I thank them. Because of their bully, I did not limit my belief. I believe differently that because of being bullied, I wanted to rise higher to show people who actually undermine my ability to say, look at her, she rise above. I like to stress on a point that to be a lasting legacy and to be able to sustain a business is not just about shining on the stage, it's really about how to put the whole package together. Being the founder for 40 years, I like to be able to pass on this legendary business to people, hopefully my son, people who love the industry. I cannot be here forever. I like to be, I like to be remembered when I'm long gone. I can't live forever, but I like the brand to live forever.